Hello guys, SPR Gaming here, back with my second video. And today I'm going to be reviewing and telling you guys some tips about the game Circle Pong. Now this game is pretty descriptive just in the name. It is the Pong, it's Circle version of Pong. Now if you don't know, Pong is a game where there are two paddles on either side, usually a two-player game, and you cannot let the ball pass your paddle. Now this is a one-player game and you have to guide the black line around the circle without letting the ball get outside. So let me just give you a real quick gameplay of it and just show you how it works. So as you can see, I'm just trying to keep the black ball in bounds, and all you have to do is tap to change the direction of the black line and what I like about it is you can miss the ball I can try to show you if you hit this side though it still stays in bounds which is a easier thing to do so my high score is 49 uh, if you guys have a better high score make sure to comment down below you can also add me on game center at S B R O S I N. so let me show you guys a little trick uh, about trying to just start this game. So what I like to do is I always have a stiff assistive touch on so I can record. Uh, it's necessary to record when you're in games um, with the app that I use at least. And what I like to do is move it around to where you need to stop on the first turn. So I'll tap. Tap when I get to it. Tap when I get back. And that helps you start off and get a little bit of the rhythm going for uh, your taps and when you turn. And now another uh, method, I guess you could call it, of hitting the circle instead of going past it and then going back like you can see I'm doing right now, is you can get where it's going to be and you can just tap multiple times to try to stay in the same place. I don't like that as much. I've tried it a little bit and I've talked to some other people who play this game and they use the same tactic I do. Um, another thing that's a little bit tricky is there are certain times where you will try well you where you will have to go all the way across the circle without tapping like I just did there and sometimes that happens two or three times in a row but you can't get too comfortable with that because what happens is where it dep it depends where it hits the line and then it bounces off of the line in a different direction so I've tried many times to uh, see if there's a way to at least get the ball to go in a way where it just goes back and forth and you don't have to tap at all so you would get an unlimited high score. But so far I have not found anything like that. If you guys have, uh, let me know or make a video yourself, whatever you like to do, because that would be a pretty cool hack to have. So overall I'd say this game is pretty fun, um, just a one player game. I'm not sure if you can connect it to Game Center or not. I believe so, but I don't really have any friends on Game Center that play it yet. So, if you want, like I said before, add me on Game Center, S B R O S I N, and uh, we can play this game and other games. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day.